Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Lady Lioness and Friends. My name is Donna. I'm a white woman. I have brown curly hair, very messed up. It's bed head right now. Uh, I have uh, purple glasses on. I'm uh, wearing my blue lanyard. I'm wearing a purple bathrobe with my uh, blue Denver, Bron or not Denver Broncos, but uh, Boise State Bronco shirt. Um, and I am in a, what's called a queer B&B. &B. And a uh, queer B&B is like an Airbnb, except for it is, is it ex it's exclusive to LGBT plus members. Uh, the reason is it's uh, designed to keep um, LGBT and queer people safe when they travel so that uh, they, you know, don't get into a bad situation traveling. And um, it's uh, it's really nice. It's the first time I've ever used a queer B&B. Queer B &B. I do not know the homeowner. I haven't met them. I have texted with them, um, but they are out. So I get full use of their home. This is great. So, and they said it was okay to film in their home. So I'm going to sh give you a little a small tour. I'm not a big tour because I'm still kind of tired from last night. Here's the living room. We're in the living room. That's the door I came in when I first got here at 3 in the morning. Um, and this is the living room and the kitchen. Very, very nice. Very clean. Love it. And this is my leftover breakfast. So on the way into Salt Lake City, um, I passed a Los Betos. And Los Betos is huge in Idaho. And I saw it and I immediately had to turn in and grab a, a breakfast burrito. I ate... Um, most of it, 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 a breakfast burrito at Los Betos is huge. It'd be like about this big. And I ate this much of it last night and saved the rest for breakfast this morning. And it always comes with two sauces, a green uh, mild sauce and a red hot sauce. And I try to do a little bit. I'm not too big on the hot sauce, so I'll like dip that first and let it kind of zing my mouth a little. And then the rest I'll use the, uh, the green. That's how I eat my Los Betos. And this is a sausage be uh, breakfast burrito one. Oh my gosh, I was so happy to see those betos early this morning. Um, but anyway, the homeowner said that to help myself to any food, so I am, well, <laughs> not much in there. Oh my gosh, I had one exactly like this at one time. I do not have it anymore, but um, it's given to me by uh, Lisa um, Sanchez. And unfortunately, I don't have it anymore because my living situation got tough and I just don't have it. I wish I did, though. I loved it. Anyway, um, so let's see. That's a good use for it. To put it, there. it looks like they put their little condiment packets in there. That's great use of that. Um, okay, so the food they were talking about apparently is like yeah, butter and that sort of thing, which I'm not eating butter on my diet, but I will certainly take some of the strawberry rhubarb noosa for breakfast along with my burrito for sure let's go find the silverware put that over there um i'm just exploring the kitchen for the first time look how cute oh my gosh i love this love this oh my gosh okay um so I don't know anything about the homeowner except for his first name. I'm not going to give it because I don't know yet if he wants to be recognized on YouTube. But if he tells me that he wants, he's okay with his name being used, then I'll tell you whose house this is. But look at this. I love this. Love it. Oh, man. Great environment for breakfast this morning at the at the bar at the kitchen. Oh, oh my gosh. I am going to sit here and enjoy this with you. I'm so used to eating out of my um out of my car for 2 weeks that I was going to eat this burrito cold, but I don't need to do that anymore. Let's find a plate and heat it up in the microwave. So Let's see, um, plates, I'm going to assume plates are going to be, oh, there we go. Let's see what plates we're working with. Oh, cute. They're bears. Yes, animals. Fantastic. Oh, I get it. Are, is this a bear's house? Oh, is this guy a bear? He's a bear. Okay, for non-LGBT folks, a bear is a gay man who is very furry, which makes sense considering the 
um, items I found in the bathroom this morning. So a bear lives here, a furry gay man, and they tend to like the manly men, the, you know, beards and muscles and, you know, and uh, fur all over the body. So that's, uh, so obviously this is a bear's house, which is okay. I approve. I approve of a bear's house. Not only that, I like bears, the animal, like the actual animal bears. So I'm, I'm having fun with this one. Okay, let's heat up my Los Betos breakfast burrito on a bear plate in a queer B&B. So. Okay, oh, look at this. Even got a, one of these nice fancy schmancy so that it doesn't splatter all over the all over the microwave when it cooks. So let's be respectful and keep the microwave nice and clean. All right, and let's see. I'm just gonna stick it in for a minute here. All right, ah, wonderful, wonderful. I think I'm gonna, go, I think I grabbed a spoon and I should have grabbed a fork. Me talking just didn't engage my brain. So let's go ahead and use the fork here. Oh, what a journey, right? I mean, I don't know if you've been following the, my journey through uh, to Colorado Springs. Have, you know, it's been two weeks. I've only gotten to Salt Lake City um, because of my mitochondrial myopathy. Um, so this is mitochondrial myopathy awareness for the whole world. Uh, the, this is the week of uh, mitochondrial myopathy awareness. So I think this is appropriate to talk about. So let's talk about that a little bit. So... Um, if you're a, a watcher of my channel at all, you know that I have what's called mito 